Voting has just wrapped up officially in the parliamentary election in Indonesia. But there are reports that long queues remain outside some polling stations. Some 170 million people were eligible to vote. Let's cross now to Indonesian, our correspondent there, Solène Honorine. Solène, how's voting gone? Voting has gone well in the whole country, apart from some problems, some scattered incidents in the easternmost provinces of Papua. In the rest, everything was calm, but there has been some problems. Um, Indonesia is uh, touted as a model of um, democratic transition, but these elections are widely viewed as the worst ever organized in the country. Today, there is uh, several people, maybe millions of um, thousands of people who arrived at the polling station and could not vote because they were not registered on the electoral lists. So therefore, we can have some problems for that and some people who could be disappointed because they could, were not able to cast their bulletin in the, in, the, in the polling station. Now, the president's party has been forecast to win this election, but seeing all of the problems, can we expect that result to be challenged? We could definitely expect some challenges at the local level and especially in the districts where the elections were, the, where the battles were the most fought. Um, at, at the national level, these elections are very important because it's from this election that depends who could run for the presidential elections because you need to have a certain amount of, uh, number of votes in order to present a candidate. Otherwise, you have to go through the difficult game of politicking and of doing alliance between the parties, which is what they will do as soon as we start to have the first results. All right, so Len Onarin reporting that from Indonesia after the parliamentary elections. Thanks very much.